if we can get him. I haven't played a, a Fallout in a while, so I'm just like... I don't want to waste too much ammo, but I gotta get closer to him. Just put two shots at 31%. One of them hits. There we go. Looks like you had enough. Of course, uh, more you play this game, the easier everything will become, so let's go ahead and god damn it, I pushed back again. I've been playing uh, Borderlands a lot, so I'm used to like pushing back to like, look at my items, and then I've also been playing uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations, so I push back to look at the map, and then I always do that, and I've been messing up a lot, so I do apologize. I'm going to be pushing A to jump. I'm so used to different games right now. So we're going to uh, go in here and uh, loot some stuff. See if he has anything. I'll loot actually. I say loot some stuff, but I don't even know if I want to loot anything. Turn this lovely radio off. Oh yeah, we got some stuff. Oh, this is the place with the gun that's, uh, that's supposed to kind of glitch. But it's not glitching. Did they did they patch that? They must they must have uh, patched it. If I can get behind the fucking desk. All right. Usually, a gun on the 360 version just keeps falling. Or maybe that's the PS3 version I'm thinking of. I play I play this game on both. It might have been the PS3 version that it keeps falling down. So there's a gun over there. If you ever play the PS, I think it might just be the PS3. If you play the PS3 version, you hear some clicking over there. There's a gun underneath. I've learned that from uh, experience. Fucking when, when I first played this game, I played on PS3, and then I came into this house, and then I just heard that noise, and it was like creeping me out. And I figured out it was the it was a gun that was glitched, kept dropping and responding. So it was uh, nothing but a couple dead people. Uh, let's open this cabinet up, and nothing I care about. And it doesn't look like they have anything at all. Another gun underneath the bed. That's about it. Uh, yeah, this this house kind of sucks, huh? I thought there was anything I care about in the toolbox. Do we already look in the toolbox? I'm just taking a look out, up top and seeing if there's anything. Gotta check everything. Key to this game. Not really, but it's definitely helpful to check everything so nothing in here except uh, some ammunition and a couple guns so make sure make sure you go in there and uh, pick those up and uh, before we go to the Biston the Biston Steve that's exactly that's actually where we're gonna be heading in a second before we go there we're gonna pretty much go in every other place first I think they want us to go in the casino but uh, we're gonna go over here first and yeah, I thought there was more people to kill but I guess that's it and here is a courier, Daniel something, and we'll go ahead and loot that from him. Let's see if there's anything. I never really read the notes if you follow along with Fallout 3 at all, so if there's ever a note, I rarely would ever read it. There's a safe out here. I never even noticed this before. Got some good loot. Go back there and get some ammunition. It's going to be good for uh, starters. We're gonna go inside that house to the left that we were just, where we saw the dead guy, but I'm gonna go up here real fast and uh, take some stuff. We got uh, something to review and some ammunition. Maybe something, uh, nope, that's it. Alright, well, let's go inside the, this place. No one, there should be no bad guys in here. This is just a nice place, and this is where we're going to meet one of our companions. I don't know if this will be actually our first companion, but what's one of the companions that we can uh, use? I don't think we can uh, do anything to fix it yet, so let's see. This is an advanced mod model robot with reinforced frame. It is well weathered uh, and appears to have seen a good bit of action. There's very little in the way of serious damage. So, uh... Huh. Uh, Alright, sorry about that, I got a phone call, I didn't even know. Um, so, uh, we, if you try to repair it, it says, Damage your frame, I bought. Some servers and gyroscopes need to be 
recalibrated and replaced, but it looks as though the robot can be repaired. Repaired 65 or higher required. So you can repair it if you want it. I'm gonna see if I can examine it. And it's 55 and I don't have enough to ex to fix it with the uh, science either. So a few uh, damaged your frame. I bought a few of the primary electronical electronic system seems to be fully functional and the uh, redundant systems are all working. If you bypass some of the primary systems the secondary system should compensate and make some of the repairs easier. So you can repair that, but uh, what I'm going to do... God damn it, I, I meant to push B. I'm going to take a look at my apparel, not apparel, but my aid, and see if I... Actually, I need to see what my stats are first. My medicine's only 43 and you need 55. And... Science is 28 and you need... No, is it... Fuck, which one is it? Uh, okay, repair 65. Science is 55, and you can repair with parts. Three pieces of scrap metal, two sensors modules, and scrap electronics. Great, I don't have any of that shit. What, how much is it for science? 55. I think we might have enough. In a second, God, I keep pushing the wrong thing. All right, science. Oh God, no. Repair 43. So if I got a a book that would make it 63. I need to be 65. Science, I'll be 48. I need that to be 55. So uh, I'm gonna save it real fast so I don't waste any items if I don't need to. Save it right on prim. That's actually where I have all my saves at. So I am a level 3 too. I was kind of curious about that earlier. I pushed back again when I should meant to push uh, B to bring up my pit boy. So we're gonna do. I'm gonna see if I have a science book first. If I have a science book, then this might be possible. If I don't. No, is it, it's repair that I want to do, isn't it? I need a repair book. That was a close one. Oh shit, it's only repair plus 10. We don't have the perk yet. That makes it plus 20. Damn. I want to try this. I'm going to try using two repairs. I doubt this will work. And then a Mentats. Where are my stats now? Repair is only 55. Actually, that's where we need to be, don't we? No, it's 65, isn't it? That's science is 55. Ah! Alright, we're going to leave it alone, and I'm going to reload my save so I get back those books in case I need to use it later. And then, uh... There's some shit in here. We got one scrap metal. Let's go ahead and start collecting this stuff in case we use scrap metal. So we got the two scrap metals. What else do we need? Let's uh, let's look again. We need three pieces of scrap metal, two sensor modules, and a scrap electronics. I've seen all this stuff before, but I haven't picked it up. So three, two, and one. And um, they might have some of the stuff in here, but who knows? We might have to come back and repair once we get our our skills up higher. My okay, God, I thought my game was gonna freeze for a second. And some books over here. This is to this is to fix it, but of course um, we don't have it plus twenty yet. We gotta get the perk, and I, I'm used to the perk having it plus twenty. So that's I was like, what the hell? We don't have it yet. And then a room that we can't go in. Cabinet that has uh, tons of ammunition and weapons. And a dresser that I don't care about. So we're gonna have to come back uh, to this. And damn it, I meant to push back. <laughs> I, just, I, gotta, I gotta get used to that. There should be a quest I thought that popped up when you did this, but maybe you have to do it uh, after repair. You get you get the quest. Maybe that's it. All right, so uh, let's head it back out to Prim. Sorry about that. I swear I thought I was twenty, and uh, I found all those parts before. If I if maybe I gotta go rewatch some of my videos. I've I've been to places where I've opened it. I was like, oh, that's the crap I don't want. Actually, it might be some in the town. So actually, after I save it and do some stuff, I might go just look around town and see if I can find some parts. There were some toolboxes, stuff like that. Uh, other than that, I think we've been everywhere in this town. I'm gonna go over here to this little gas station looking place. I think it looks like a gas station. You can always check the dumpsters, they might have some crap. Scrap metal, so we got all the scrap metal we need. Now we need two sensor modules. We got a bobby pin, might as well take that. Uh, let's head uh, right over here. Right around to a gas station that is all boarded up and nothing at all. I remember I looked in there. 
All right, well, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna end it right here, and uh, when we come back, we will uh, maybe find the parts. If not, then that's okay, but if we can, that'd be great, uh, and we might, uh, we might uh, just have to wait it out and do the repair and stuff later, so anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great one.